Hello, Doom here, and this is episode 22 on the Blocklist server. If you're a little confused and you haven't heard, with my starting a new channel, I just wanted to carry over this series from where I left off instead of starting from episode 1 again. I didn't really want to start from episode 1, so we've just continued where I left off, and now I'm on episode 22. There'll be a link in the description to episode 21 from my old channel if you want to see where we were last time and where I got to, and to get a bit of insight as to why I've decided to go for a fresh start. Because I talk a bit about it in there as well, as well as fighting the wither and working on the corridors, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, I brought my date forwards when I've reset my channel and actually got it started because uh, I was already starting to miss making videos because this is a lot of fun. And once I settled on a new channel, I just wanted to get on with it and I was really excited. And I'm very, very motivated to actually work on my base here. So, uh, so there's that. And we're going to probably get working on my base. But what I'm going to do for this episode, I'm going to show you some of the things I've worked on to get you up to speed. If you haven't been checking out my live streams, because I'm going to try live streaming again, you would have got a, a sneak peek of what I've been working on, and this kind of uh, somewhat finished. But anyway, from last episode, episode 21, I did these walls with the cobblestone, the cobblestone walls, and all around here as well. And I was really happy with that. And I showed all that and got it all done, and I finished fixed the lights as well. With the, uh... Yeah, I did that as well. Yeah, I fixed that. I showed I fixed that as well. Um, an addition I made is I put this never brick in. This was all... This was all stone brick. But I got an idea to put the never brick in there. And it made it complete. That just looks really good. So I put that as a sort of border highlight thing. And it looks amazing. And on the live stream I talked about... My live stream is going to be, if you want to check it out, there are links, links in the description all the time, but it's twitch.tv slash doomfulsilence. I'm going to try and stream stuff on the server, and I plan to do other games as well. And trying to stream regularly, if not just for a little bit, but I'm going to try and stream regularly. But I worked on this wall, because I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I got an idea and I put it in. More detail. To be different from this side, but I started working on the walls here, and I'm happy with the way it's turned out. Now let's go on a little run so you can actually get a feel for this this whole corridor here because we're pretty much nearly done. Currently right now I'm working on these doors. I've got one redstone door which I'll show you in a second because that hasn't been shown on a video yet but it's on a live stream. But as I already talked about I'm going to have speed mining areas down here in this section because we're at white 11. So good for diamonds and other good stuff. And I've got corridors going around as well which I've started working on. I need to finish this, but I'm basically having loads of redstone doors, like access points, all the way around here, which is um, which would be good. It's uh, I like the way it's turned out so far, and I like the redstone door I've done, and you get an idea for the corridor. I really like what I did with these details in the walls. I haven't done all the doors, as you can see. Uh, I think we're getting round in a second, but the corridor looks really good. And hopefully I can do a bit more, a bit more work like that on live streams and get stuff in videos. Did we go all the way around? Where's the redstone door? I can show you the redstone door. I think it's around this corner. I think this is the last bit, poss possibly. Oh yeah, it is. And I left it open. So this is my redstone door. This is what I settled on, essentially. Oh, press it. Press the button and it opens. It's got a T flip flop in there, which. Possibly a better way of doing it. Like I think there's some clever hopper T flip flops you can do, but I know how to do this one, so I just made this. It's essentially you press the button, it, it flips the uh, block, which puts the redstone torch on, which then powers all this, and then the pistons all uh, retract or de uh, detract, whatever the opposite of attract is, Retra whatever the opposite of retract is, and it opens the door and closes the door. So that's the kind of what I'm going to do. Again, there's probably a more efficient way of doing it, but. I don't know that and I'm no good with redstone and that works so I'll keep it and we'll have little storage areas here in these little corridors where I can store the stone that I mine up and this is what I'm doing to speed mining if you want to just see because I got myself a haste beacon from the wither I fought so basically you just put a haste beacon down here haste 2 and then with efficiency 5 peak you can just go mental and just break the stone in, in no time at all so I'll be doing that and getting all my resources through there. And that's basically the point of this, like little... It's like restricted area access, it's just like a big... 
a strong door that closes and opens. You can't. You just have to press a button to get it to open, and some machinery in the background opens it, or something like that. But that's basically the door, and I'm just gonna. In my own time, I'm not going to record that. I don't really like messing around with redstone. So I'll, I'll do it on my own time. But that's the basic idea. And that's my corridor. So let me show you some other stuff I've been working on. Because this is pretty much done in here now. I've done my AFK witch farm. So our rooms are complete. We've got our portal there. Uh, you've seen the workshop enough times where I just do uh, my stuff in there. Workshop. The witch farm, of course. The collection point, which I'm starting to sort out. And I could possibly open this. I had it kind of closed because I don't want people coming over here and just taking everything. So I've got to figure out a way to distribute that. But I don't want to just make it free to take because nothing's stopping anyone from taking it all. So I have to figure that out. I need more half stuff up there to stop the slimes. And this is the potion room and a mushroom farm down there. We've got our potion room here. And then the witch, the fish farm that I finally got round to fin to doing. Here it is. It's just basically simple. This is Panda's design. There'll be a link in the description to the video where you can check that out. Panda from the Zip Crowd server. And it's just very essentially pretty simple. You flip it on, and then you come in here. If I can get it to work takes a while to find the right place to put it in but essentially the door open and close allows you to throw your to cast your line and then the the hook triggers a trip wire that's there you can't really see it but there's a trip wire above the water which then closes the door and then you're able to just keep continually right click on the door which keeps the line cast but when you get a fish it pulls it down so it's not on the wire anymore like that and then it opens the door, which means you can bring it back in. And then that's it. I think there's a few little, little bugs i got to work out in here. I'm not sure. It might be my positioning or it might be the update. It doesn't work as well as it can, I don't think. But that's the basic idea of the witch farm, of the, the fish farm. And essentially, get back here. I don't want to cast it out there. Essentially, I will probably just spend hours here AFK while the witch farm is going and collect stuff so that's the point of that you just put something on your you rebind the keys <laughs> uh, please join because I want my new um, username I don't spell I don't know oh I should I don't I know what to say to that to flee I should ask you the same question. There we go. That'll do. Um, but yeah. So the wish to so the the fish farm's done. So this this area is pretty much done. I can work stuff on my own time now, and I can. <laughs> I don't know why she's pointing at never. Um, yeah anyway so now I can start working on other stuff which I'm probably going to get to and that's my next project which I'm going to get to in a second when I <laughs> oh, okay yeah Fle Flea's been very busy hectic life uh, very busy at the moment it's a shame uh, but she'll play when she can well, that's what I was doing now. Now this is all done, I can start working on the next level, which I started to do here, working on the path. And I dug this out, uh, which I started doing in the last episode, actually. You'd, you'd see that if you watch it, when I started talking about stuffs and, and things. So I dig all this out, and this is all pretty much done. I'm not going to run around it. It's essentially a mirror of the corridor below. It's directly above it, so it's exactly the same size. And I've got to figure out a design. But what I'm going to start working towards down here you can see my beacon and this is what I'm going to work towards now in the coming episodes is tree farms, food farms, animal farms and a storage room all down in this area which I've started to clear out rooms now it needs to be a big space, we've got our section here it's cut off by ravines so that help out a little bit and over here and this is what I'm going to start working towards, I've got a great idea I've got great motivation to work on my base and I'm going to start Probably next episode I'll figure something out, maybe 
I'm actually not sure because I've got another video recorded, but I've got to wait for someone else to record their reaction before I can upload it. But I'm going to be working a lot on my base. I'm not sure. Oh, Flea wants gunpowder. I need to slide in a second. Hold on. There we go. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very much about to go on my base, and I hope you enjoy uh, what I make. Uh, I still stand by when I start my you, you, this new YouTube that I'm not gonna have a strict schedule. And this slime is just this slime just wants to play with me. It's it's slowly making its way up here. Uh, but I'm not gonna have a strict schedule. I'm just gonna get videos out when I can on the block list, working on my base, and I've got a few other things I want to do for other series. But I'm just gonna focus on enjoying it and just. You're having fun and just getting the video out, videos out when I can. I'm going to start live streaming again. I've got a little bit of time when I can do that. My plan is basically I have an hour, an hour or two before I go to bed, which I'm going to spend doing my recording. And if I'm not recording, I can probably live stream. And there may be some time in the morning where I'm able to record. So I've managed to set myself time when I can record so I can get videos done but I'm not gonna try and force anything I'm just gonna focus on having fun and enjoying it but you will see loads of stuff from Blocklist because I'm very very motivated to work on my base and I it just looks so good in my head that I hope I can build it properly in the game um, so yeah once again I apologize for all the changing around of my channel with the hassle that has caused but I feel very reinvigorated with YouTube now. I just want to get on with it and have fun. And I hope you enjoy. So um, just a little update there to get you caught up to speed with what I've been working on. And what's to come with my base. Hopefully I can start working on my storage room farm area next time. Or, or sometime soon. Within the next like, couple of weeks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again next time.